graffiti by Franco-Tunisian artist El Cid is among the works of street art chosen to replace the love locks. Meanwhile, a 102-year-old German woman becomes the world's oldest person to receive a doctorate. Precious Ong tells us why. 102-year-old Ingeberg Silim Rappopor received her doctorate at a ceremony on Tuesday, 77 years after finishing her dissertation on diphtheria in 1938. As a Jew, she was not allowed to sit the final oral exam under Adolf Hitler's anti-Semitic race laws at the time and could therefore not receive her diploma. Last year, the pediatrician son approached Hamburg University, asking them if they would consider giving her the degree. The university agreed on the condition she sit the oral examination. Silam Rapopur spent months studying developments in the field of diphtheria and subsequently passed the examination, thereby becoming the world's oldest to receive a doctoral degree. Before World War II, Silim Rapopur immigrated to the United States where she qualified as a pediatrician before moving back to Germany in 1950. Meanwhile, Arabic graffiti by Franco-Tunisian street artist El Cid now adorns Paris's Pont des Arts, until recently home to the much maligned love locks. Padlocks left on the bridge but removed by authorities due to safety concerns. Pink letters a meter high containing a quote from French novelist Honoré de Balzac span the bridge over the river sign, a stone's throw from the Louvre Museum in the heart of the capital. Waves of visitors had in recent years crammed padlocks onto the metal frames of the bridge, threatening its stability and compromising safety as some of the heavy panels became detached. So city authorities invited gallerist Mehdi Ben Sheik to create a temporary exhibition of street art before clear plastic panels are definitely installed before the end of the year. His work is featured along with three other artists on the Pont des Arts, at the heart of the French artistic establishment, and some visitors appreciated the clash of cultures. Precious Ong reporting for Wine News.